Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to carry on and we're going to go to the nether. First thing we're going to do is actually prepare some more tools. As you may notice, I have done some obs refined obsidian armor. Very straightforward, just normal armor recipes. And I've also got a funny hat. <laughs> Let's get started with the other bits. So the first thing here is this blurst earth spawns all mobs working really well in the mob spawner but above the ground it disappeared into normal dirt very quickly as it happened i think it even happened before the end of the, i didn't notice but it happened then we, got, we used some end tiles and some chorus tiles to make some um upgrades well to make some solar panels now they didn't work down here but they do work on the surface and i've got some co-op clusters what do you do with all of these things you come along here and you put them into the um, squeezer because it basically gives you this is, it almost gives you all tripling it doesn't in this particular case well we got three that time I got five it's 50% chance in this case so we'll end up with probably 16 maybe about uh, 40 40 or so cobalt when, when it's finished it's done half now it's got 21 so that's a good way of doing that other other metals basically do or tripling so gold and iron is, is tripled fantastic and actually diamonds too for that matter we had to look at that last time i think so let's have a look at these tiles here here is an ender tile and i want to walk on this i get teleported upwards as you can see and here i put in i got this chick this is where it was before and i put in a hopper here, which actually didn't work but here i'm getting some eggs in this in this vacuum hopper, we've actually got two eventually, uh, but after uh, the amount that's actually been dropped, it's not very good. Here we built, I put these solar panels down here, like this, and I created a quantum quarry. I'm sort of more interested in what the quantum quarry does than anything else. So what it does is this, it produces sort of Minecraft standard blocks. Um, so we get things like inferior essence we should get some prosperity or somewhere here we got 12 so and we get some so that's actually quite a good way we can deal with those she might as well turn this off when i'm thinking about it i don't need that on at the moment do hide the area and i shifted it back three so he does that goes behind there quite true and here's the chorus style so when you go you can see the actual the particles are going down so you go on that and you go down like that and there's another slime hopping around as well like get rid of him. I get a slime ball from him. I didn't in this case, that's unusual. So what we're gonna to do today is I would actually like to make some tools. So this one here is a refined obsidian axe, and that's a 13 attack damage, which is quite decent in its own right. Here we can make a refined obsidian pickaxe, which is also reasonably effective that gives us 12 and this is a shovel which is 12 and a half they're pretty decent these things but together we can make a uh, pack saw so if we have a, for example a look a uses of these we can make this pack saw which then gives us 15 attack damage which is pretty decent so let's go and enchant that actually downstairs i have got some enchanting stuff set up um but I would like to have some XP before I go into that. So let's come in. Let's come in here and have a look at how we're doing with the mob spawner. Yeah, you can just hear something just got ground. Man. And in here we have, oh yeah, thirty-seven XP jelly babies. Let's all eat those as we go down. In fact, I'll see when I now walk down and we'll see. I also built a brewing stand, and in there I have got uh, potion of fire resistance eight minutes. Something very handy for the nether. You may also have noticed that other thing, we'll just walk past, we'll have a good that in a second. So here we also, I built the foundry. I haven't used it yet. It's just um, almost identical to the smeltery, except it has blocks underneath these blocks here. So I put some lava in it, and so it's ready to go when we're ready. Here I've got a, an enchanting table, which will give us 30. So we, we should be able to put this into here. Yes, we can get efficiency five. Not the greatest. Let's just take away three of these and start to eat some jelly babies until they get to level 30. Uh, so I'll do that and I'll be back in a second. So now we have 30 levels of XP. Let's put those into there and then chant that. We're now getting efficiency five plus something else. 
just efficiency five in this case. And I was hoping to get something better, but we we could put this one in. For example, he would get experience harvest to five. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Let's let's enchant this while we're up to it. I just need another three levels of this, which is nice. Oops, what did I press there? Just happen to right click the two. One more, and we should be ready. Oh, actually, in this case, it took two. So let's do the diamond one at the same time. Let's see, we get. I didn't uh, forgot to put into that some lapis lazuli. I should have done that first, shouldn't I? Try that again. Experienced harvester five. What else do we get? Efficiency four. Actually, pretty decent one. This. So anyway, that is that done for the time. We will put the the rest of the uh, jelly babies in here and some the XP in them, and we'll go back upstairs again. So. I'm pretty sure in this mod pack there is a, are ways to get things out of here. So let's have a look. So I looked at that one. Something I missed before was a rowing boat. So if we do the rowing boat here, and let me have a look at the quests, because it's a quest reward. We've done all the basic stuff. Let's go, and I've actually done quite a lot. The exploration, for example. I have made the end painting, which is Highway to Heaven, which will give us a random reward. Oh, experience it's actually quite a good one. I might keep those, might use those. Uh, random reward for doing the nether, we also get an obsidian boat. And this gives us a <laughs> necrotic bone cleaver, that's also pretty decent. Actually, that's a really good reward, because I can't do that one yet. Uh, sorry, exploration, so we've got the Boeing, the rowing boat here. Which gives us a parrot spawn egg, I'm not quite sure why we need that, and a random reward, which is a... Uh, okay, oak lower roofs, so that's fine. But I'm not sure what use the parrot spawn. It must have a must have a use, otherwise it wouldn't be here. So that's the exploration. And now, of course, we'll see the other barrels as we go and find those barrels here. So we've we already done most of these as it happens, but for some reason it hasn't picked up the item recycler. I'm not sure why, because we have built that. Next thing is this, the Solium Dagger Hostile Attuned. Fairly straightforward to make. In fact, I've got it here as a recipe. So the recipe basically is we need some soul jars. Skeletons, creepers, spiders, and zombies. And on top of a solium dagger. Now, the solium dagger is just a crafting recipe with some solium dust and some solium ingots, which is this recipe, which is prosperity ingots, which we've done already before. There's no big deal about that one. And, and the other one, so you can make this fairly straight quick easily and then when we go back to here we needed some zombie some spider and some creeper and skeleton now the recipe for these if i look here for example so is in the soul extraction so if you use the head this will give you three of the ten required so three heads plus two bones will fill up a soldier and that's exactly the same for creeper for example that's the same one you've got creeper heads will give you three and Gunpowder will give you two of those. And it's the same for the other two. Spiders, not, but in that case, spiders are slightly different. Anyway, need this. I want it anyway, if it's really good one. So we'll put that here. And then we'll have a look along here. I made some rose gold. Now, rose gold is very straightforward. The recipe is actually three copper to one um, gold. And it gives you this rose gold. Now, the use of this rose gold is basically in here like this to make slimy cloth from Tinker's Construct. And five slimy cloth will make a uh, silk touch tool. So for example, we could put this silk touch on the uh, one of these mattocks like this, and that would then be able to, we could use that for all sorts of bits and pieces. Or maybe I put it on the pickaxe, I'm not sure which. Anyway, that's something to do um, at some stage or other. Now the rest of it here is this. A tinker's anvil. So if tinker anvil is made with any block of alloy. You can't use things like gold and iron. You used to be able to, but steel, bronze, uh, invar, etc. Well, you can use for for doing this block. So it with scorched stone. Scorched stone. It's fairly straightforward. It's well, you can do it two ways. You can either put magma creams in this in the in the in the, uh, in the smelter, and that will produce. Well, you need two slime balls, and then put it over some gravel or basalt, and we'll produce that. Or the way I did it was from scorched stone, which liquid scorched stone is basically just putting in. So look, there should be a recipe for this somewhere. Melting. Uh, this is the one scorched bricks. 
Oh, basically nether grout. So you put nether grout into there, which is one magna cream, one salt sand, and one gravel, produces nether grout. Now we've been using this these bricks, or well, I have anyway. I made the book the Fantastic Foundry um, as an extra book because it's supposed to be included in the encyclopedia of Tinker's Crumbs Brick, but it's not all of the not all of the information it is. So you can then smelt this into. We can either use the smelter or the foundry. And you can make scorched stone and you just pull that out that easy no big deal at all yeah. then you get these blocks like that don't need to do anything with those because i've got everything already and then we can actually start to use these materials so let's take i would like to give you a couple of things on there first thing is i'm going to get rid of some of the the goods that i've got here and i'll come back in a second so now i can take some more of these items i want to take these and this will give us a melting ability and the rest of these that was for luck but i'm not going to use that and so what i'm going to do instead we're going to come along here and make up a new tool so the, the one it's really neat this actually so i thought i'd do an, a, a matic because matics are quite decent and this one's actually got quite a good attack damage it's 12 point well it's almost 13 which, which is comparable to this at 16 but slightly slower what you can do with it though is that you can have a look here and you can open the planner it's got this planner so for example you can select a tool you can choose some materials like that and it'll tell you what it gives you for damage and attack damage and so this would be an over slime one for example so it gives you some some more bits like 25 percent modem momentum speed that means as you carry on it carry it goes faster and faster but there's quite a lot of these. So the one I've picked up was this one here. So when we finish with this one, we'll get a 14.13 attack damage. But it's going to have a tank, an auto smelt. Now, why do you want auto smelt? Is because then you can get killer blaze with it, and that'll put the the blazing blood into the tank. <laughs> so there we go. Let's just let's take make make this up. And then you can put um, a record on it like this, and that will then give it. This time it's got how many says it should tell you upgrades here somewhere. So it's got three upgrades. So when it's when you put the record on it, it'll give a fourth upgrade. So let's do that. And I think this, you can do the same with the head. So this has now got four upgrades, and when we do this, it should have five upgrades. Fantastic. So that's that bit. And then here we can basically put this in. It doesn't really matter which order you do things in, as far as I can see. But um, two buckets of lava and then you get this so then it has this melting property this one doesn't have the melting property but do you, does use an ability up so what you have is ability and upgrades so this one here has got should tell me if i press shift one ability so it uses that ability up instead of the upgrades so we'll do take this one we can then put a tank on it and i think it should work with a tank Upgrade abilities, melting. Let's have a quick look at that one in the book here. And I'm sure it's just, oh, I've got two buckets, that's the problem. So, right, okay. So now I've got a tank on it. That's just great. And then we can put some sharpness on here. So, for example, this will give us one level of sharpness. I think there was something else I wanted to put on here as well. Um, let's take the three levels of sharpness on it. So that's just sharp that's sharper and this is sharpest it does have five levels and that was using up blocks of quartz as you noticed now what does it have left on here if it has any more items on here we've got one more upgrade to go and i forgot what i wanted so let's have a look on in the planner here and see what i wanted to put on it so i wanted to put auto smelt harmonious which we've done sharpest tank one knockback one or I didn't put the um oh maybe i'll just do another sharpness on it so what have we got for sharpness now we have got um uh, it gone to 14 so 15.58 fantastic let's just put another block of this to make it super sharp so that is then going to give us 16 attack damage that's not bad at all so we've got a reasonable amount on here so we've actually got a lot of upgrades so we're going to use that now when you kill something it's going to go into a tank and if we have a look at this now it should tell us the capacity yes it does so that's basically two and a half buckets worth very good mining speed as you can see 
and the attack damage isn't bad at all. And for, it, it's not great. 1.1 is not very fast. Let's compare the two so you can attack that one. It comes back like this. And this one is noticeably slower. But maybe we can survive for that. Right, next thing, pictures. I made an overworld picture. The recipe for those are fairly straightforward. So you need dirt, logs of any type, doesn't matter what, and a picture. Picture frames are with basically wool with sticks around it or uh, canvas. Canvas is made from straw. Straw is made from chopping um, rice. You can also do it in the crusher, but I think that's a 100% chance of that one. So that's basically the same as this. You get that chopping up rice gives you straw. Four straws gives you a canvas and with the canvas you can make a picture. And you can also trade by villages by the looks of it if you find a shepherd. I, mean, I don't think we're going to find very many villages in this particular mod pack. Because <laughs> there's just sea. Um, <clears throat> maybe there's some around, I don't know. So next thing. I've got this as sharp as I wanted it to. I think this was just another ability. If I put luck onto this, it was an ability. And I've used the ability for the smelting. Um, let's put these rose gold into here. And in fact, we don't need the boat either. So let's just put the boat away. Actually, I'll put it in here for the time being. So I've got a this backpack here, rare backpack, which I don't know whether I did it last time or not, but we will use this. I've got 16 cobblestone, that's good. And I'm going to put some of this stuff away and I'm going to go to the nether. So I'll see you in a second when we're upstairs. So... I'm upstairs and I'm about to put the picture down. And the reason I've come upstairs is very important as it happens. I will come out in the nether. It should be, I should be able to right click this on here. Can I, oh, okay. So that does actually fit perfectly as this. So it's a, a two by four structure, a <laughs> picture. So you walk up to the picture and you press space and jump into it. Before we do that, we're going to drink some uh, fire resistance potion and just press space and you go through the train here. So. So as you can see, we're coming out on lava, just beside this building. Now, when I was underground, I did it and I made a mistake. <laughs> what I did is um, I came down underneath the lava somewhere. So we've got this glass dome. We're in a glass dome at the moment, so we're sort of protected. So let's just break our way out of here. Um, some tool or other doesn't matter much like that so we can then come along here maybe we can put some gravel down or some stone down here probably be a good idea because we're on an obsidian platform so let's just push this down on here like that if i can get it there I'm sure let's get it good so now we've got a way out now we need to do need to put the picture down as well <laughs> and it's a this is only one two three across so we need four spaces so i'm going to make the four spaces in fact yeah, let's, let's make the four spaces and do it that way. It might not be the best thing to do. I'm not 100% sure this is a great idea or not, but we'll come along here. And we'll just go down a little, out a little bit more just in case, you know. Let's just do it like that. Good. So now we've got a sort of a safe-ish place. And if we can come along here, we should be able to put the picture down, the overworld picture on here like this. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. We'll try it. Yeah, it does. Fantastic. So now we've got our overworld picture. And we'll just put up some blocks underneath here as well. So let's just do that. I think I'd like to get one underneath here, but it's not going to be easy to do that from here. I'm not going to be able to do that from this from this angle. I could actually go down <laughs> into the lava because it's not a big deal. Right, we're ready. Let's put the jetpack on. And let's also mark the space we're at at the moment. So we'll just do map. We'll create a marker. You'll see I've actually created the marker over here. It says gas on it. So, um, that's the wrong place. That's actually where I spawned last time. <laughs> let's go back to the map. And we'll just do it here. So right at a waypoint, we'll call this one portal. Except that I don't need this one anymore because it's I'll remove it because that was just one. But there is a gas there with so these structures like this contain mobs, and here obviously is a another fortress. So I'll put the jetpack on. Yeah, there's the engine on it. So let's go up here. 
and just fly away. So here you've got this structure, and it's basically one of those relics, relic places, isn't it? You've got lots of mobs on here, and I don't want to kill any of those yet because I want to go over to the. Let's put the mini map on Control M. I want to go over to where I've set this marker point, which is down over here, not very far away. And you get these slime islands in the sky as well, so which is, which are quite good. So I can. I've got a mod marker here. Where's the other marker? It must be over here. Look be blue here we go so this has got a gas spawner in it i know that because i did visit this there's the gas here so let's take the the tool here this weapon and grind this gas if we can right got it oh i don't i uh, did actually not do too bad actually i'll return to sender for that one but i should yeah i've got the soul jar that's now half full here's the gold barrel and underneath here, if we can go down here like this, you will get another spawner and then we'll get um, the next one mob I want to grind. There was something else I wanted to do before I do this. Let's just get out of here. The backpack, some more of these. And make sure we've got another potion of uh, fire. There's another gas. Let's go and get him. Be quicker for us one, wouldn't it? Oh, I know what it was. I forgot to put on the... Um, let's, let's put this in my hand here and turn on the magnet. <laughs> because without the magnet, because that's control V, isn't it? Turn the magnet on. We should be able to then pick up any drops which are falling from that guy. So, And of course, we can then break this chest here, I think. Can we break it with this? No, it's too slow. <laughs> got a bit difficult. Oh, I'm using the wrong tool, that's why. So we've actually got our first soul jar filled up, which is great. <laughs> and I've got a first ghast here as well. So I come down here. I wanted the... Um, do I have a pickaxe with me? Yes, I've got this refined obsidian one. That'll do just fine for this. Let's break this now. And you can hear below, what do we get in there? Yeah, there's another gas. Let's go and get the gas. But I probably don't need to do this on camera, do I? Like that. Got another one of those guys. And then just down the bottom here, as you can see them, there should be some, yeah, <laughs> wither skeletons. So let's go down here and get... Oops, I think he's just about to drown. I don't want him to drown, particularly. But there's also a nether barrel here, too. They've got knockback on this, which is also quite handy. As you can see. Uh, and then I should be getting those. So let's just claim this barrel as well. I'm not going to be able to fight or anything like that. Where did you go to? How can he be shooting me from under underground? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, anyway, we can get these skeletons here like this. If I get around to the right place. Without too much danger as it happens. My jetpack's 92%, so that's fairly good. Let's break this. Let's break that. What do we get from that one? It's number, oh, we got this starfish. Gain extra P. XP. So, we'll, oh, there we go. There's one up there and there's one over here. I'm just going to put them out. Got a hat. <laughs> a gas with a hat. Cool. Can't get it. <laughs> there we are. What have we got now? Three gas tears. So I'll be I'll be busy doing this for a few seconds, and I'll come back when when I've got these guys, all four all four of them that we need. So I'll see you in a second. Well, I finished there. <laughs> um, let me just get some more. Oh, how much have I got? Five minutes. That's fine. Let's go and just kill a few of these blazers. I want to get some of this blazing blood from here. I'm not sure. 
probably be easy to go down we've got with a couple of weather skeletons down here i've actually feel lots of weather skeletons as it happens okay. right got some blazing blood from him maybe another one over here we can get some more blazing blood from it's a bit hard this actually i think the jetpack's going a little bit too fast i prefer it not to be so fast we can, we can ignore the um we can ignore the, the wither skeletons because I filled up four jars of wither skeletons, which is basically the way I want to get. Um, oh gosh, it's really cha chaotic, isn't it? Let's get this guy. Another one over here. Let's get him. What am I picking up? Blaze rods. There should be picking up some blaze rods. Oh, we've got necrotic bones. We've got uh, some blazing blood. I hope we've got enough blazing blood in here. Let's go and get this guy as well. And then we can go home after we've done this. <laughs> Slime hat. What have I got in terms of here? It should tell me whether tank one. So it's got 200 milliliters, not very much, from the um, full amount. Now there'd probably be a spawner here. What have we got here? Blazes. Okay, fine. Perfect. We'll just do. We'll just come back here and just get the get the blazes they spawn. But my health is actually not too bad at the moment, so. There might be a way to move spawners as well, I'm not 100% sure. The idea is to fill up the, the blazing blood in here anyway, so that's its idea. Stand over here. And then when they spawn, we can get them. <laughs> anyway, I shall be back. As soon as there's another one over, there's a few over here, look, let's go and get these guys. They don't do any harm with the fire resistance potion anyway, so that's fine. There's magna cubes here as well, we can get rid of it. Don't think they give any blazing blood. Anyway, you've got one tank in here anyway, so... Right, I shall be back. See you later. Well, I'm ready to go. Let's jump back. Come back. We should. Actually, we've, we've come back where we started from. Oh, from the respawn port. Okay. Point. Sorry. So we have got. So we'll look at this. Eight blaze rods, six gas tears. Actually, nice. We've got uh, 23 necrotic bones. And we've got these things as well. So a consumption upgrade. And we've got the starfish. Gains XP, extra XP from hitting enemies. Let's learn that one. And then we've also got in here the rare backpack. I've been putting in these. So we've got gas souls. We've got four of those and we've got four uh, soul jars with the skeletons in. So I can make the seeds for that. Well, I've tidied up my inventory a little bit. So let's go over here now and have a look. And just make these two seeds because they took quite a lot of work and we'll be honest with you so let's just uh, start with it doesn't matter which one we start with we'll start with the gas tier first i think um this is one is a tier three so it's not too expensive it's just um, some imperium essence is it tier three or tier four and one more of those they will of course these are always a bit of a nuisance to make because you've got to keep putting down individually um we want four of these and i've got a fifth one for the for the dirt or the farmland and we can right click that oh wrong type of ha <laughs> ha wrong type of seed i completely forgot about that doesn't work when you've got the wrong type type of seed let's go and put the right type of seed in here so we need uh, four sodium dust which i should have in here here, that's uh, sodium dust, yes, fantastic. But we should be able to craft these within ourselves, so. In our own two by two crafting grid. Like that, so that now should work. Oh, I was halfway there. <laughs> so that's a good example of things not to do. <laughs> so now we've got our gas seed let's do that again now let's this time we'll do it for the um uh wither skeleton the wither skeletons of course is going to give us with wither skeleton skulls i think i said that already plus other drops from wither skeletons so it's actually a really good one to make and it's actually quite it was quite hard to make as well did i do then 
from that one and then four of these Supreme Essence. And then press the button and we should have a Wither Skeleton Seed. Since we've already made the Blaze Seed without having to go to the Nether, that's actually quite an achievement. So now let's just make up the two dirts. Let's put those and this into here and then shift in. I can't do one, I've got to do one at a time, haven't I? Like this. So now we've got those, we've got two, two chests, we'll put them down over here. I should really sort out where I'm going to place these seeds. I was holding down shift when I did that, by the way. And do the same with the top. And then we can put the dirt into them, let's throw the gas seed in there, and then the other dirt is here, and the seeds, gas seeds. Gas seeds go in there. Okay, and then the final one is the wood skeleton seeds. Like that. So they're going to grow up and give us the essence over time, which is fantastic. Wow. Okay. I think that's the end of the episode, except for one last thing I didn't show yet. And that is the tank in here. So let's go and put this tank down in here somewhere. It doesn't really matter how I put it. Uh, let's put it up here. And then you right click this with the here, with this, and you go oh, with, with the tanked. Um, with this tool with the tank and now it's got nothing in it you'll see it's got is empty it's got tank capacity and in here we've got this blazing blood and what you can we haven't even got a bucket's worth yet so i've got to go back and do some more um <clears throat> it'd be nice to be able to get that spawner over here we can then just do it in our own time uh, i'll have a look at how to do that between this episode and the next so that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.